In 2015, 196 countries from all over the world came together to create the Paris Agreement in the hope that actual litigation would bring about positive change to the environment. While you may be familiar with what the Paris Agreement is, what you may not know is the specific details and mechanisms by which the Paris Agreement will operate. Each country is required to submit nationally determined contributions, or NDCs, which illustrate the ways in which a country plans to reduce their emissions, as well as sets goals for what a country's emissions should be by a certain year. Should any country fail to achieve these goals, they can turn to Article 6 of the agreement, which lays out a cooperative mechanism by which countries can trade their emissions. Let's take a look at what this could mean. It is wonderful that the countries of the world can cooperate to tackle climate change. Yeah, I think it's great. As long as we all stay within our NDC, then we have a real shot at curbing our emissions. I just hope everyone commits to their intended NDC, Brazil. We'll do just fine. You don't have to worry about us. What is your intended NDC, Norway? Glad you asked. We're planning on curbing our emissions by 40% from our 1990 levels. That's a pretty nice bar to set, right? Right, but we're planning on curbing our emissions by 43% from our 2003 levels. Pretty ambitious, right? Yeah, but what does that actually cover? Because we're covering all our emissions economy-wide. So are we. We're covering all our emissions across all economic sectors. Well, great. How about we come back here in, let's say, five years and see how well we're doing? Sounds like a plan. Great. Well, Norway, are you on track to meet your intended NDC? Oh yeah, we're on track to exceed our goals and actually reduce our emissions by 55%. How about you? Well, due to massive deforestation and a major lack of ambition, we actually were only able to get our emissions reductions down to 30%, and so I'm actually a bit stuck. Do you think you would help me out? Actually, yeah. So under Article 6.2 of the Paris Agreement, we can actually trade our emissions reductions to help us achieve our NDC. So when one party like me trades in emission reductions to another party like you that hasn't achieved their NDC, that's referred to as an Internationally Transferred Mitigation Outcome, or ITMO. Huh. How do we, how do we trade these ITMOs? Allow me to explain! <laughs> ITMOs are like emissions profit. Your NDC is lower than your goal. As it turns out, Brazil, you spent more than you said you would, and Norway, you saved more than you thought you would. Norway, you can give some of those savings to Brazil. These savings can be transferred in two ways. You can either adjust your tally, your country's actual emissions, or you can adjust your target, the goal set by your NDC. However, it's important we all decide which of these systems to use. Let's try the target-based approach and have Norway lower the goals of their NDC while Brazil raises their target instead of just changing emission levels. Nice. Now remember, we must maintain full transparency, or else we run the risk of double counting. Double counting? What's that? If Norway does not account for the lost emissions reduction, then the two countries will be reporting the same reduction in two different places, causing the single reduction to seem twice as large. I think I'm getting the hang of this. What are ITMOs physically? Well, we need to decide on that too. Maybe tons of CO2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like tons. Yeah? I, I think pounds actually would be better. Uh, ooh, oh, well, like what about introducing like... a new unit? Uh, it's just so complicated. Okay, uh, but if we have to decide on tons, 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 no, no, tons, no, no, tons, 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 tons would work. I, but we need to be on the same As you can see, there's still a lot of controversy over Article 6.2. It was left ambiguous on purpose. Not to mention the rest of Article 6, which extends to the Sustainable Development Mechanism and Non-Market Mechanisms. The hope is that we can find the solutions to these questions and agree upon a framework for Article 6 at COP25.